Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and today's video is a continuation of the last two posts on my blog, where we're going to go ahead and create custom content center libraries and publish a component to those libraries. This is that last step, publishing the libraries. So here, I've got this screw that I downloaded off of cbliss.com. Many of us may know that site already, and if you don't, take a look. There's some good info on there. And what I'm going to do is publish this to the library. But first, we've got a couple steps I want to do. So I'll go to the Manage tab and go to my Content Center Editor, what I'm indicating right here, and open them up. Now you see that the icons in here are all kind of opaque, and that's because they're currently read-only. What I need to do is make those available to my custom library. Well, I'm going to choose the Fasteners tab, and I'm going to right-click, and I see the options to copy to my custom library. But I don't want to use that one because that's going to copy all the components in that folder to that custom library. That'll take a long time and we'll publish parts I don't really need. What I do want to do is publish the structure. So I'll use copy category structure here. I'll click that and very quickly it'll go ahead and copy the folders without copying a bunch of extra parts I may not be worried about right now. So we're part way there. You can see that everybody lit up and we're ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from my merge view here and go to my custom content library so I can focus just on that writable library I've created. So now with that done, I'm going to create a category for my wood screws, which is what I'm going to create inside my content center. So I'll go to this icon to create a category. And now Inventor is going to bring up this screen and I can type in my category. And I can even although optionally, grab a bitmap that I've created and publish that for an image to go with this category. I'll go ahead and I'll just hit OK, and I can go to the next step and see where that category has been put in. So now, that's all ready to go. I'll go ahead and close this window out, go back to the same general area on that ribbon, and choose Publish Part. That's going to publish this screw out now. So now as that's going to go ahead and start thinking about things, it brings up my screen. I can choose where I want it to go. The defaults for me work fine. Content Center Library and English. I'll hit Next and I choose what category to put it in. And these are those writable categories I created. I'm just going to place it in my wood screws category. Choose Next. I can add any parameters that I might need to add. In this case, I don't need to add any. Hit Next, and now it'll go ahead and ask me what my key parameters are. What do I want to identify this screw as? I do want to look for it by nominal size, for example. I also want to look for it by total length. Those are important. But I might also want to add, let's say, material, if there were stainless and brass and uh, mild steel versions, for example, or maybe slot versus hex head, that kind of thing. This is all fine the way I want it. So I'm going to hit Next. Now I can go ahead and make any changes to the family I want. I'll change the family name to a new name. The family description to a more meaningful name for me. And then the family folder name, and that's where it'll publish out when it's finished. Lastly, I can give it a standard organization if I want to. Not necessary, but a good idea if you have it. A manufacturer if you want to, and then a standard over here if you want to. All of that's optional. Um, if you have that information, it's a good idea to put it in, but not required. So I'll go ahead and hit Next now. I'll get my final confirmation screen from Inventor, and this is what we're going to do. I'm happy with that, so I'll go ahead and hit Publish. And now that component is going ahead and publishing out to my Content Center library. So now that that part's been published, I can go ahead and switch to an assembly. And I can place from Content Center, select that fastener, and place it on my screen. And now this component was an I part, so it's a table of different components. You might have noticed that already. So I see all the different possibilities I get with that I part now set up in Content Center. So now I can go ahead and place that screw out of Content Center. And that's it. It's all published. So that's it for this video. Everyone, have a great day.